Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy to be here again. I was here last Friday, coming straight to be with my generation to come from Spain, from Ireland, from uh, Kosovo, and from uh, Norway, plus South Africa and uh, UK. Okay. Today, we're talking about communication. What do we mean by communication? Answer, or I will choose who to answer. What do you mean by fundraising? Answer, or you answer, or I will choose. What do you want from fundraising? This is the third question. What do you want from fundraising? You answer, or I will choose one of you. All right? It's not a joke. I am very serious today. I might upset myself and yourself. Yes, sir. Fundraising. Uh, fundraising is stand up, please. Come here next to me. <laughs> to go to BBC. Come on. No, it's not live. It's not live. No, no, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. This going on tomorrow? Yeah, no, no, going on tonight. Okay, sure. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to uh, like and share. Okay. <laughs> yeah. no, can't, what do you mean? What, I ask three questions. Uh, I was going to answer the second one. Okay, carry on. I'll give everyone else an opportunity. Um, we ran a workshop with some volunteers that Dr. Hani mentioned. Um, and one of the things that we concluded to was fundraising essentially is about delivering the message. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Just start again. Yeah, no, no, carry on. Carry on. Okay. Um, so, fundraising essentially is about delivering a message. Um, the reward is in the action, and the results are in the hands of Allah. So, ultimately, the amount of money that's raised by you delivering a message is not in your control. So, what you need to focus on is getting that message from the people in need to the people that can help and support. So it's essentially being a bridge. So as a fundraising organization, we're the, uh, the vehicle or the bridge. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I clap from my heart. Have I listened over the years? And... No, no, I listened to them. Yes, second question, first question, third question. Stand up. It's not a stand up comedy. If you stand up for the community, you can lead. If you sit, you'll be led by somebody else. And you'll scream and cry. He's a bad leader, he's a bad leader. Because you don't stand up. Because you can't stand up. And you won't stand up. So first question, second question. Yes, Mariam? No, I'm, I'm not because I'm, I'm... I'm here. You're here, okay, fine. Yes, you are international. Ta'alu up to Swiss, up to Spania. Yes, come on. Answer one of the questions. But I didn't answer. You have to, because I said, either you come voluntarily, Sister Rahana, or I'll choose you, Sister Rida. <laughs> mm. So, what, whatever you say. What is the question? <laughs> no, because you make more than one. <laughs> choose one. No, okay, my body. And uh, for me, the most important, it's like I'm working in comms and also with um, my, my Hannah with volunteers. So it's very important. So everything we say, everything we share, the message that uh, Brother Atik said, that we are the bridge from people in need to people. It's for me very important to see with the Niye, with Albna, with our soul, with our, our heart. And you see since inside. I like, know maybe, and uh, I'm always like working like crazy to, 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 to doing things very quickly because I need to update, I need to send an email, I need to send a newsletter, I need to a post, I need to blah, blah, blah. And sometimes we are crazy and we forget things basically. So it's very important when we are on the stage or something and we are on the field, try to speak from the heart. It's for me, it's the most important from the soul and uh, why we are here, alhamdulillah, yani, we are giving this message, yani, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, from, from yani, be this noble cause to serve humanity, alhamdulillah, kill tawfiq min and Allah, maybe we don't get funds, maybe we just create awareness, we just create conscious, so it's enough, but just sharing with, with, with a smile, with heart, 
with sincerely and uh, وان شاء الله يكون بالتوفيق رب العالمين شكرا from heart from heart from heart anybody else third question Malaysia through Asia you are Malaysia come on This is Malaysia through Asia, is that right? London. Is she London? I am London. I am London. I am Mr. London. Yes. Yes. Speak to the audience. Yes. And deliver your message of communication. Okay. Um, my understanding of communication is uh, nothing much different from um, sis um, kinda kinda yeah, yeah just now because um, I'm not a comms per, uh, person but um, I think the importance of comms is to deliver the message to deliver to make sure um, that the message to be delivered to the uh, society Um, on behalf of um, the, our beneficiaries <coughs> and it has to be uh, using different medias very very various of medias um, but most importantly it is must be um, it must be delivered in uh, the best ways possible uh, yeah I think thank so. you does Communication have a soul, heart, and mind, and feeling. I think we are using people as images, as numbers, as figures, as banknotes. We talking about myself are not used people as souls, spirit, heart, mind, dreams, and future. Our message must have the overflowing feeling of agony sitting and settling in the hearts of the people. If people cannot see this in you, the image you put, You are a waste of time. We are not a business company. I'm telling myself, 25 years ago, we said we are not Oxfam, and we don't want to become Oxfam. We are not to save the children. We don't want to come save the children. Good for you, good for me. I am whatever I am. I am Islamically. With my value, my character, my culture, My dream, my principles, Oxfam is Oxfam, so what? Save the children, save the children, so what? Islamic cliff is Islamic cliff, so what? So you have to be what you are. That's why your message has to speak through the image. Never, ever as communication department to make your message numbers. Because we are not dealing with a business company who produce goods. We are dealing with the future of younger generation who want to become future leaders. You go to a camp, a child who lost his leg, he wants to be like Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. This is a dream. You stand up for this dream. Your money is not good enough for me. We need it. We need it, but it's not good enough for me. Building the spirit in the community through building the spirit in the heart of the children and the families is what you need to succeed of having them. Don't be deceived by the numbers of likes or followers on your social media. Good, but not good enough. Be proud of the number of leaders you produce through are through the slums of Africa and Asia and Latin America. Can we stand the life in the slum when we go and visit them 
and stay with them for a week or two or three weeks or four weeks? No, we can't. Because we talk about them. But can we live with them? This is something which is very challenging. Very challenging. Media and communication is not about images. The greatest painter and artist in Italy, in Rome, anybody from Italy? What is, what is the biggest, uh, what is, uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo or Angelo? Michelangelo. I'm Michelangelo, Michel, Michelangelo, huh? You know, anybody knows about Jukanda or Mona Lisa? It's lively image, and this is the depth of the art in the heart of Michael. Can you do an image like this through your social media? Social media is about cut and paste. Unfortunately, can we draw our images by our hands? Can we let the connection to be communicated from the heart of those people? This is a challenge. We only go for the money. A money could be a killer, and it is a killer. We need it, but we need to use it, not to be used by eh, the money. Our quality is how to build community, how to support community, how to protect community, and how to make our community active, proactive, and leading. Our, our communication department must have a message, a soul, if we lose our soul and the spirit, we are dead meat. No matter what kind of clothes we wear or perfume we use, we are dead. If I lose my soul now, what will happen to me? I'll fall down. See, go to, uh, what's it? In Moscow, uh, Lenin. They are still injecting his body for the last I mean, 70 years or 80 years, isn't it? to keep him alive. I mean, not alive, يعني, in a shape. Is that right? The ancient Egyptian managed to keep the bodies for thousands and thousands of years. So what? Technology, science, but there's no spirit. We don't want to be like the mummies, the mummies in Egypt, or Lenin in Moscow. And this is a message for us because we are a humanitarian worker. Sometimes the word professionalism becomes sickening. I oh, have to do that. Okay, fine. Did the people to lead. I heard something a few, half, half an hour ago, an hour ago, about we need to fundraise for, forgot it, for the projects that can raise funds. We need to fundraise, I heard it, I don't want to say who said it, for the projects that can raise funds. Fatal. Fatal. We should fundraise for what the people need. We should fundraise for what the people need. We should understand their agony and their suffering. And we should educate our community as donor community. You should donate to those people. You should keep educating the people in Canada, the people in UK, the people in Germany, the people in South Africa, the people in Italy, in Spain, Malaysia, Indonesia. We should educate them. Because we are not here for Canada. But we are for Africa. And we build the bridge between Canada and Africa between U.S. and Africa, uh, between U.K. and Africa, between South Africa and Africa, between Malaysia and Africa. That's what we need. I will ask you a stupid question. Do we know how many projects Islamic Leaf is implementing worldwide? Now, this question is a killer. If you said no, out. Don't stay in this organization. If I was here, I will not let you to stay here. Out. 
You have not seen him on time. Luckily, you have seen somebody else's time. How many projects that Islamic leave implementing globally? And I am what you call what you call it in English. When you do this, what does it mean? No. What? Huh? Clicking? What? Snapping fingers? She's more English than myself. Okay, fine. <laughs> How many projects? Some of you are big guys and uh, big brains and talk about series and give me a lot of abbreviation. DBD, B. I don't know how many abbreviations you are using. I don't know, but keep you making that. But, but tell me how many projects. You belong to an organization who actually proudly you say we work in 42 and we have 45 or 42 or 43 offices. Do we know how many projects we do in Pakistan? See, this is a killing question. This is the killer. Don't go now at the website and find the number of projects. This is what I found when I visited Pakistan last year. Shame on me. Great projects in different parts of Pakistan and other countries. But we don't know about it. You know why, brothers and sisters? Because we get what we like. And what can easily raise the fund from the community and said, oh, we've done it. And this is really a challenge. This is not a spirit, not a heart, not a soul, not a mind. This is just business marketing without soul and the spirit. Ask yourself this question. I stand for this organization, right? No. I stand for the people that the organization claim to serve, right? Yes. Where, how, and how much? This is the question. No matter what language you speak, what degree we have, what title we have, what fund we raised. That's why last year, Omair and myself got an idea about having a catalog for all the projects of your organization. And to give the choice to every citizen at every country globally. If we don't want to do the hard way. In the good old days, sisters and brothers, we didn't used to have cars, telephones, internet, Wi-Fi, computer, nothing. But we did it the hard way. If you do it with more effort, you'll be able to do 10 times, 20 times, 50 times as has been done 20, 30, 40 years ago. It's not only about money. It's not only about money. So I can see the competition between a lot of organizations about the social media. Fine, good. But how can I put my spirit inside the media of the social media? This is the question for all of us. In two or three days, those people are doing their effort to tell you as much as they can. But you have to do our effort by going and searching inside the files of the organization and even visiting this area, communicating with them. Find a new way, a new system, Sister Rida, of communication directly with the people who pay our salaries. You can tell me stop whenever you want. Okay? This is a challenge. You are not here as just professional people who can use technology. No. Professionalism has a spirit, has a message, has a mission, has a deliverable to, pre to pre bring it back to us. Professionalism is not a degree only. It's not an art of drawing. Professionalism is perfection. Professionalism is a smile drawn from the heart of the child into my heart. This is professionalism. 
if we talk about it. I did not prepare a speech, but what I'm saying is what I believe in it. Yesterday, I was in a high-level meeting, something called EY. Even I did not know what EY means. Big firm, EY. I went to a huge building, maybe 100 million, not 100, 100 million, not billion, 100 million pounds in London, in, uh, in the city of London, in the city of London, next to the mayor of London, is Ernest and Young. You know, everybody of you know Ernest and Young. High level people were there, but we have to sell them your story. And we have to let them to be in tears of your success. And they were 99% were not Muslims. Founders, CEO, and directors. This is what when you need to bring your message from the hearts of those young boys and girls to the heart of the people. This is communication. This is connection. From the heart to the heart, from the soul to the soul, from the spirit to the spirit. It's not an image. It's not an image, Sister Reda and Sister uh, uh, Aisha or Sister Kenda or Sister. Forget about the brothers. Another Kenda? Or sister, not, not sister. You cannot have a sister with a beard. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> but not you. <laughs> this is my message to you, brothers and sisters. This is my message to myself. This is my message to all of us. Be with the people and ask your bosses to send you to where the hearts are beating. Not to stay with dead heart like myself. Go where the hearts of young people are beating and lively to get their life to encourage us to live more and more active life. Please, as I said, we are not Oxfam. Okay, fine. I'm not against Oxfam. I defend Oxfam. I respect Oxfam. But I have my character. I am what I am. I am what I am. Very proud. Extremely proud of myself, of my culture, my value, everything. And I can stand to next fam, at Oxfam, or Save the Children, or Christian Aid, or World Vision, all those, because I've seen all of them during my life with you. But I can't be anybody else. I'll be myself. So make yourself yourself, and don't make yourself somebody else that actually you don't look like him or her. You can learn from anyone. You can seek knowledge from anyone. But you be what you are. Because at the end of the day, you produce the product which reflects your value, your belief, your morality to humanity. Okay? This is to you. If you want to ask me any question, if you want to grill me or to roast me, I'm willing to be grilled, boiled, roasted, what else? Sliced? If you marry to an Egyptian woman, be careful. Because slicing of meat is on the top of the menu of the agenda. Oh, no, no, sorry. You are half anyway. You are half, you are half. You are not. You, but she is half. 100%? Be careful. Because <laughs> when they had a difference with their husbands, they slice him, they give him a nice, nice yellow drink. In the evening, then they slice him and throw him into the... Slice him. You know slicing? Sister Rihanna? Oh, yeah. Luncheon, luncheon. <laughs> so, be careful, huh? Be careful. Oh, you are in Yemen. They don't slice, they swallow. In Yemen. They mince. They mince, yeah. In Yemen. So, if there's one or two questions I can take, otherwise, I leave you in peace. Yes? Yes, Sister Kinder. Come and tell the public. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, fine.
Humanize. Humanize. Rida, come next to me. You have to answer this question. We are always... No, 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 no. Come here, please. Always I have to embarrass you. Negative <laughs> Yeah. Television. Because I'm still your chairman, huh? You have to listen to huh? So... Till I leave, you can... <laughs> when I leave, you can do anything else. Go on, humanizing. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, all our inputs, daily inputs in our daily day... Yeah. It's always negative inputs. Yeah. Also positive inputs. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of news, a lot of NGOs, a lot yes. of... And so now, as human beings, we are normalizing. Kinda, she's going to answer the question. Okay. How can you humanize <laughs> what she no, said? No, because I don't want to normalize something very big. Humanize, not normalize. No, but Yanni, I mean, Doctor Yanni, I want to humanize, but in the same time, I don't want to all the bad things be normal. Okay. Because nowadays, awesome. we are seeing like normal, Yanni, it's something big. We'll get used to it. And to be honest, it's big. Yeah. I need a, a war, eight year war. And if you are not convinced with 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 uh, with Reda, you can get somebody else. Go <laughs> I think you should. No, 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 no. no. I would love. I would more... love to listen to you because you are leader. <laughs> you know, I did a presentation on this yesterday. Uh, so I, just come on, yeah, Bismillah. <laughs> Bismillah. Uh, to be honest, I. So you're asking, how do you humanize while not normalizing the situation? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, anyone feel free to jump in as well. <laughs> but um, I would say when you talk about the people, kind of like what Judith mentioned yesterday, talking about the people and the struggle they've been through, because in the news you have the stats, you have the overwhelming feature, but if you think about it, the ones that capture the attention are that one child on the beach, unfortunately. The the one child in the ambulance who was here, right? It's, it's that one factor. and that moves people more than that big overwhelming number. So talking about that one story, um, I think humanizes the cause and prevents it from becoming normalized, if that, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. But every day we have one story on the news. I mean, we are hundreds of NGOs, always hundreds of negative inputs. So, we as, Charity NGO, Muslim NGO, yani it's our the sadaqa, the, the youth, mm -hmm. yani mm -hmm. disability lab, the on, on, on a, as, I don't know how to share. On a grand scale. Arabic, Arabic. Manish Arabic? Ah, I'm going to ask you. Not me. Asli, no, I'm going to ask you. No. I'm an uncle. Ah, okay. <laughs> She's my daughter. No. Ah, yes. No, I'm going to ask you. يعني الحقيقة يعني هو نحن الحمد لله يعني نشتغل لسبيل الله وبإذن الله يعني نحن كمسلمين يعني لازم نساعد الناس لأنه هو فرق بس يعني كثير في كمان إنه لازم هلا حتى للموز يعني عم تشتغل إنه شلون بإمكاننا نحن كمسلمين ننشر الرسالة إنه هذا it's necessary it's a need عرفتش لون لأنه no, 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 no. Can I understand okay, a word you just actually, said? Sorry. Uh, what she said, she said we are very sincere in doing what we do, but uh, we should spread this message of helping people and make it like a life mission, make it like a duty for everyone, not only for, for us, right? And she wanted people. Now carry on, you are still on the stage. Yes. Yes. You are the master of the stage now, not me. Uh, and she wants this message to go to everyone and to let everyone to feel that it's a duty upon everybody to have this message and to deliver and to save life of people. So what was the question, sorry? That's what she, she was That's explaining. What she, okay. Yeah. Can you ask About question? humanization <laughs> and normalization. So you want people to be able to relate to the stories? That's what you're saying? That's an interesting one. Um, Based on my limited experience, and, and others can speak more to this, I think that comes over time. I don't think you'll be able to get that within the first interaction. And that's where all the different touch points add to it. Um, it could be someone just has three seconds to see an ad, but it captures their attention. 
next time they'll get an email, next time they'll see an event poster, they'll go to an event. And, and then it's a different, yeah, so it usually takes around seven touch points to, for someone to make a donation. So it could be that to raise awareness, there's a certain number of touch points that you need. That's why I think we as individual departments do our part, but collectively as an organization, we need to do more and more cohesively because we feed off each other and that's how you share the stories. Thank you, Senator. No problem. Any last question before I leave you in peace with Brother Adnan? Yes, sir. Come on. Atik. Atik. It's a question. Yeah. yeah. Question to, to them. Because yeah. any one of them can answer it. I was hoping you can answer it. I hope so. Okay, inshallah. Um, Talk to the audience. To the camera or the audience? Yeah, whatever you want. Both, okay. Um, we speak about building leaders, uh, and I know you mentioned it a couple of times. What would you say is the most essential part of building leaders, and where do we start? Um, because we came through such an informal process of getting to where we are. You know, there was no formal structure of, you know, anyone, I mean, I can speak for myself, of me getting to where I am. It was just, as it happened, life put the right things in the right place. So what would you say is the... Um, okay. The formal structure of build, uh, well, the building blocks of building leaders and where do we start? Okay. Yeah. First of all, you have to have uh, a leader to build leaders, which is some role model in your organization. To be seen like she or he is a role model, this is number one. Number two, you have to empower the people that you want to build as leaders. Empowering them means give them responsibility. Let them actually to make mistakes. Sometimes you become tough, sometimes you become nice. Expose them to the community. Because the community is a big school. Teach. The community is a teacher. One of the people yesterday, she asked the question, how you keep your spirit up? The answer was three things. The wife, Allah and the community. Three. Three, you have to surround yourself with the three. The wife or the husband, of course. If I'm a woman, I have to have a husband. Is that right? Not a wife. No, I, I'm, I'm now, what I am now? Yeah, I'm not, thank you. <laughs> At least she's assuring me who I am. <laughs> so this is it. The building blocks start very, very basics. It's not very difficult. Keep being with the community as much as the community needs you. We have a document called Grassroot. I think Mahalia should have it. She can, um, it's in Arabic or English? English. Look at it. This has been written about maybe 20 years ago. It might still stand up for what we can do for the quality leadership. If you have got these certain blocks, very basics, very basics, very basic. One of the things is actually, you want to become a leader? Yes? yes. Your manner, humility, being humble, being patient, being taking the problem of the people, being serious, being a listener. The more you listen, the more you'll be able to comprehend, then you produce your opinion. The more you talk, the more people will run away from you. Okay? Because people are polite, making you speak, that means that they understand or they want you to carry on speaking. They are polite. I was in your country, I'm not, not, not German, in, 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 uh, in Turkey. Very polite. You can talk for an hour for two hours and people are sitting in the seat not going and leaving the room even if they don't understand what you're talking about I was in this challenge about 10 years ago more than 10 years ago one who have to speak in English and they are actually most of people don't understand English and the speaker before myself was a lady very 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 eloquent she said honey they don't understand what I'm saying I said I know you have to speak Turkish to them. 
to understand what the people, what the language of the people and the culture of the people and what the philosophy of the language of the people and the culture of the language of the people. You know what? At that time did, Sister Rida, who said, what is the name of Baklawa? What's the name in, in Turkish? Uh, uh, Istanbul is the most beautiful city. Turkish is one of the big, the greatest city in, in, in the country in the whole world. And uh, uh, what's the, uh, what is the, uh, I'm Imam, do you eat Imam Bayoldi? Four, five things in, in Turkish. And the whole room was, ah! Because you use the language, not your language. You don't use the Oxford language or the Cambridge language. You use the street language. When you go to the farmer, know what they understand of the English language. Workers, handicraft, and, 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 and. This is another thing of making your leadership, to understand the philosophy of thinking of the people that you are claiming that you are helping and serving. It's a long <laughs> process. And maybe you can ask Had to fill the gap by creating these future leaders. Building futurism is a process. It's a process of empowering young people. It's not a, a delivery speech. It's not a nice speech. It's not a lecture. It's a process of empowering people and let them to stand on their feet one day with you, the other day by themselves. Okay? Brother Adnan, I talk too much. I took half an hour now. Huh? Sorry? Our pleasure. What do you mean our pleasure? I don't know what that means. Is that I stop or I pleasure? I can. <laughs> it's half an hour is more than enough. Yani. What do you want? I'm, I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer.